piece of garbage. Stupid popping napkin. So after four years of living the RV life, we have had a few epiphanies along the way and we've learned some things. Now, I am not just talking about what happens if you leave your black tank valve open or if you forget to bring your awning in during a rainstorm. And I'm not gonna tell you either which of those we learned the hard way. This video is going to be all about what not to buy. Now, there's a ton of videos out there, including some that we've done that tell you great products for RV life, things that really help. But this one, no, this one's different. This one's going to be products that we bought that did not work. Like this is actually, we bought it, it didn't work out in real life. People sounded good in theory, did not pan out. It ended up in the garbage or in the donation pile. So. In this video, you're gonna wanna take notes, pay attention because we're gonna save you some money. So before we jump in to these products, I do want to let you know that this video is sponsored by AG1 by Athletic Greens, and I am super excited to share a little bit later more about that. But let's jump in with product number one. Product number one that did not pan out, that actually ended up going in the garbage, was one of these water pressure regulators that is non-adjustable. Now, in my opinion, this really should just be called a water restrictor because that's pretty much all that it does. You hook it up at your campground and it restricts the water flow coming into your RV. But now here's the caveat. You do need a water pressure regulator because you don't want to damage the water lines inside of your RV or have your RV flooded. So you need something Thing to dial that water pressure back, but this isn't it. Opt for the adjustable water pressure regulator, and we'll have a link to the one we use from Amazon below. Number two product that did not pan out at all, and let me tell you, this was a major disaster that happened. So early on in the formation of this channel, we had a company that I'm not going to name reach out to us and offer to send us one of those large screen room gazebo type of tents. Now, we thought that this was the best thing ever. Hey, a free screen room tent? Of course, send it on over. We'd love to be able to use that and potentially put it in a video. Let me tell you what. It literally took us over four hours to figure out the setup of this particular one. And then we figured out that actually some of the poles had been put in backwards and that's why we couldn't get it to even set up in the first place. So finally, after getting it set up, we're thinking, nice, we can use this, we can eat outside. Yeah, wrong. The first very small gust, and I will say small gust, we were not in a place like Kansas where the wind blows forever and ever. Small gust of wind came up, it literally lifted off and blew into the campsite across from us and we were absolutely mortified. So we went and we retrieved it, we brought it back and we staked it down better this time. We put stakes in every single place that you could put a stake in this particular tent. And let me tell you what, two hours later, it blew again and this time when it blew, the actual pieces of fabric that had the eyelets for the stakes to go through ripped out of the tent. And so the stakes were still in the ground along with the pieces of fabric that we had them staked through and the tent in the other campsite. That thing got folded up, put away, it got put in the garbage. We decided no more with that particular style of tent. Now, you'll have to leave us a comment below. Let us know if you do use one. What have you found works to actually secure it? All of that stuff. But for us, we're done, we're out. No more screen tents for us. So product number three that was literally a waste of money was a cover that goes over your RV. Now I'm talking about the types of covers that you would put over your RV if you put it into storage. Now, when we first started living the RV lifestyle, we were not full time and we actually would put our RV into a storage situation during the winter months. And so we wanted to protect it. I mean, this is our new baby. So we bought this nice, huge, large, fancy cover to put over it during those winter months to protect it. Well, let me tell you what, we went out to just go check on the RV one month, make sure that everything was working well. That thing was shredded and it was lying on the ground because the minute the wind picked up, 
it didn't hold up. And we have heard stories upon stories of the same thing happening with other RVers. So you'll have to let us know in the comments below, have you had the same experience with covers that go over your RV when it's in a storage situation? Or have you found one that actually has held up? For us, literally a waste of money. It was shredded, it went into the garbage. Number four are these plastic style leveling blocks. Now for us, we actually have thrown away several of these. We still keep these around really more as like an absolute emergency situation, but these are already mangled. We threw away the ones that were even more mangled because for us, especially in a heavier class A diesel pusher, it's just too heavy to support the weight for these types of plastic leveling blocks. Now, a smaller travel trailer, maybe this would work, but really, Best solution is go ahead and opt for the RV snap pads. Those do a great job of helping you level out, or if you really need it, just carry some wood blocks with you. You can go down to Home Depot. You can even get it cut there as far as the wood goes. Super cheap, super easy, and you don't have to worry about it getting mangled like these. So before I talk about number five on our list, I do wanna take a quick minute to share about a product that we are loving called AG1 by Athletic Greens. Now, YouTubers Kara and Nate are some of our favorite people to watch, and we first learned about AG1 from some of their videos. When living this travel lifestyle, it can be hard to get all the nutrients our bodies really need, especially when we wanna try new foods and new places and not not everything we eat is always the healthiest. Since we've added drinking AG1 to our morning routine, and since AG1 has 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food source ingredients, AG1 is the quickest, easiest, and tastiest healthy habit to fill those nutritional gaps in our diets. And anything quick and easy is totally my friend. Now I know we are getting the nutrients we need even if we don't end up eating the healthiest of meals that day. It's super easy, just one scoop, eight ounces of water, and that is it. And let's face it, especially on travel days, even though we try to eat healthy, it doesn't always happen. <laughs> Drinking AG1 by Athletic Greens is great peace of mind for me as both a mom and a wife that our whole family is getting the nutrients that we need to stay healthy and active while living this lifestyle. The ingredients are super high quality and they reformulate as needed based on research. Since we love the energy boost, immune support, and gut health we're getting from AG1, we think adding drinking AG1 into your daily routine is a no brainer. You can use the link below athleticgreens.com forward slash grateful, which we'll have in the description box below. You'll get a one year supply of the immune supporting vitamin D three K two and five travel packs free with your first purchase. AG one is the quickest and easiest and tastiest healthy habit to fill those nutritional gaps. So number five on the list that totally ended up being something that we got rid of, said this is just not meant for us, piece of junk, was the propane stove. Now, here's the deal. Cooking with gas inside of a typical sticks and bricks house, not so bad. Cooking with gas in an RV, I rarely ever use the oven. And I actually figured out that the convection oven did a better job of baking things than the actual propane oven did anyway. So number one, it took up a ton of space. Number two, it used propane, which of course is getting more expensive and it can just be a potential fire hazard in the RV kitchen anyway. So we got rid of the propane stove, installed an induction cooktop instead, and it gave us so much more storage underneath where that stove used to be. So one of the things to consider as you're living RV life is potentially just ditching that propane stove altogether. So number six on the list of things to not waste your money on are cheap sewer hoses. Now, this particular one by Rhino, we've been using for quite a while. And let me tell you the difference between some of the cheap ones and some like this. Now, this one from Rhino, it expands and it contracts, but unlike the cheap ones that don't stay contracted, this actually stays contracted. So you can have different lengths of sewer hoses depending upon if your sewer hookup is way far away from your RV or if it's closer to your RV and you don't have 
have this big mess of a sewer hose snaking everywhere because you can kind of sort of change the length based on what you need in the moment. So this does cost a few more dollars, but it's well worth it. Don't cheap out when it comes to your sewer hose. Number seven is cheap holding tank treatments. Now, we have made the switch over to the products from Unique Camping Plus Marine, but let me tell you, in the beginning, we just went and got whatever they had on the shelf at Walmart, and we had black tank smells, we had gray tank smells, pretty much had it all. And the other thing that we learned is a lot of these really cheap, inexpensive holding tank treatments, number one, aren't effective at really keeping the smells away. But number two, some of them actually contain harmful chemicals that you really shouldn't be putting in any sort of sewer or septic system. Do yourself a favor, get a high quality tank treatment like this one from Unique Camping Plus Marine. Now, we actually have partnered with Unique Camping Plus Marine and they do offer a 15% discount to our viewers. So they will be a link in the description box below with that 15% discount. So number eight is actually these foam mattress toppers. Now, when we first got our RV, the bed was horrible, and we've talked to so many of you out there that have the same type of sentiments that when you first got your RV, the mattress was awful. And so this is the solution that a lot of us go for, and this is one we tried, let me just tell you. Doesn't work, went into the trash. This is actually one that we have for a guest space in our home base. It's the only reason that we still have this because it does not work in theory on a really subpar mattress if you are sleeping on it night in and night out. So just do yourself a favor, make the upgrade to a decent mattress and skip this junk. All right, number nine on the list is this pop a napkin or really if it says pop a anything, like this is just absolute 100% garbage in my personal opinion. Now, first of all, it is just laughable to me that I would mount this plastic looking thing on my nice renovated cabinets now. But seriously, people, do you really need a napkin tray mounted underneath of your cabinets? You can definitely put napkins in a napkin holder out on the table. Personally, I don't need more stuff in my way. I don't wanna visually necessarily see all of my napkins. So anything like this, just think it through, but this definitely is not sticking around. All right, number 10 on the list, and this is a bunch of stuff that we got rid of, but that is actually like regular dishes. So like the Corel dishes, these like ceramic style mugs. Now, lots of reasons why these went into the donation bin. Number one is they're breakable. Anything that you've got in these RV cabinets, especially on a travel day, if you open this cabinet, you've probably experienced this if you're an RV or in the avalanche of things that falls down on you. So I don't want anything breakable, but two, just the noise that they can make in the cabinets, they're gonna clang around against things on those travel days. So regular dishes like ceramic mugs, bowls, plates, we completely did completely got rid of and we went for better options. Now what we did instead is we have these stainless steel vacuum insulated coffee mugs. We also have these nice little tin experiences over things mugs. So these tin campfire ones are definitely fun. Now these ones you can only get when you sign up to be a Grateful Glamper Insider at the $10 tier. I'll put a link below. We don't talk a lot about our insiders group as of lately, but there's a lot of advantages to being a Grateful Glamper insider with behind the scenes footage that you get, real time updates, and really cool mugs like this. Yep, knees, arm. Do I look I fat? No, dear, I would never. Like, do I, does this leg look real, does, do I look like I have thunder thighs? Because if the, if the angle makes my thighs look like thunder thighs, no we comment. need to change it. You are trying to get me in trouble. No, I am trying to make sure that the angle's correct. You look great, honey. Camera angles make a big difference, cameraman. You look wonderful. You look perfect, just as you are. This is why you say, how do I look from this angle? <laughs> you look good from every angle. Okay, no, seriously though. 
Do I have thunder thighs? No. Okay, are we, are we ready? Fine, yeah. Okay, all right. So many, so, uh, there's like better cooking options, I'm trying to say. How do I say that? There are so many better cooking options out there. There's so many better cooking? That doesn't sound no. right. There are better cooking options out there. <laughs> there are many better cooking options. Many better. There are much, much more better. Mo better. Mo better. There's mo better cooking options. Yeah, that's, why they, that's why they say that. <laughs> there are so, ah, like I'm at a loss for so words. So many mo better. <laughs> it's not helping, huh? No, hold on. There's so many options. There's so many There's mo better. <laughs> Stop it. It said it in my best Cajun accent. Okay. You of all people should know this. Don't. Just don't do that. Don't do it. No, 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 no. Like... Yeah, business. Business! Do yourself a favor. <laughs> Use a high quality I was like trying to get this and my hand wasn't finding it. <laughs> so, nice. It threw me off. Okay, I'm gonna start that over. I need to get the hair out of my face, but I don't want to touch it with my sewer hose gloves. Nice. It is in my mouth, okay. Yes, I'm sure it is, okay. There will be? There will be. There will be. There will be. What do I do with my hands? So you'll have to leave us a comment below and let us know what products that you have purchased for RV life that just did not pan out. Maybe they ended up in the garbage or the donation bin. We love hearing from you guys in the RV community, but you also have a chance to share with others in the community what not to waste their money on by leaving your comments and suggestions below this particular video. Don't forget to check out the link below too to learn more about AG1 by Athletic Greens. We are absolutely loving it. And then we'll put a video right up here about buy this, not that, which is a video that we did that talks about some things that you should be buying and some other things to stay away from. If we don't see you at the campground or out on the road, we'll see you in the next video.